Okay, so this is a typical example where we're actually given um, an equation. Okay, so there's our equation and we're asked to solve for Z. And they give us just some parameters that Z must be a number between negative 180 degrees and 180 degrees. And we need to type in the answer there. Okay, so we have, this time we have that cos of an unknown value Z is equal to a known value. Now, if we have that, once we have this, this is exactly what we want. We want a trig ratio with an unknown inside equal to a constant value. This unknown inside might even be a whole uh, formula by itself. It might be something like uh, 2z plus 3. That doesn't matter. What we are going to do in our next step is to um, take the inverse of this. In other words, to solve for z, we know well, if cos of z is equal to this, then z is equal to arc cos, cos to the power of negative 1 of 0, 0,1045. Now later on you will, you will also learn that it's not really the answer for z, okay, but for now it's sufficient, okay, so for now don't, don't feel I'm cheating you, for now it is really uh, still correct. So let's work out what is arc cos of that value, okay, so we have point 1045, okay, arc cos means I take second function of cos, and that gives me 84, if I round it nicely, I get 84 degrees. Now, does my 84 degrees fall within the 180, negative 180, and 180? Yes, indeed, it does, okay, which means that this is the value for Z. There might even be another value for Z. As a matter of fact, Z can also be negative 84 degrees, okay? Let's try that. Let's see if negative 84 works, okay? 84 with a negative. If I put that into the cos, okay, I get 0. 1045. Okay, so again I get another value that will also work. So there's more than one answer for this one. Okay, in your case you can just use the positive value for now and that will be 100% correct. So our answer 84 degrees. Perfect for this specific case. See you in the next video.